Welcome to Biomechanical Insights, a new category of explanatory videos where I will share step-by-step -step mechanical tips to assist my students in solving complex cases. Let's get started. And today we will be assisting Dr. Elsid Jika, who sent me this complex case, a complete class 2 with a very deep overbite where the lower incisors are traumatizing the gum of the upper incisors. The focus of this treatment will be on the movement of the upper anterior teeth. However, this can only be done after removing this mechanical trauma and only when the periodontium of this teeth is healthy, with good biofilm control and no bleeding. In a lateral view, we can observe the class 2 the significant overjet and the patient's inability to naturally close her mouth. In the radiographic image, the significant overjet and overbite are also prominent. My planning tip for this case is the retraction of the upper anterior teeth. Notice that this will be physically impossible if I don't first work on the lower arch. To retract the sixth anterior teeth, we will extract this first left premolar, which already shows some clinical compromise. And we will use this space on the right side. I will demonstrate the step-by-step -step mechanics in occlusal and lateral views. Remember, first and foremost, I need to remove the gum trauma and create space for the upper retraction. To achieve this, I suggest a passive bonding on the posterior teeth stabilizing this segment with a rigid wire and we need to raise the bite with an occlusal splint. I prefer using triad resin for this purpose, ensuring a smooth upper surface in this case. This occlusal splint will serve two important functions, raising the bite and reinforcing the posterior anchorage. This will allow relatively easy intrusion of the anterior teeth by using an intrusion arch with a band of approximately 30 to 40 degrees towards the cervical region. Naturally, this band is done on both sides of the arch, and at the anterior part, the arch will be tied to establish only one point of contact in the region between the laterals and canines. After the lower intrusion, or concurrently with it, we will work on the upper arch. The greatest secret to the success of this case will be absolute upper anchorage because we need maximum anterior retraction. For this, I suggest installing a mini screw near the roof of the upper molar, place this mini screw as high up as possible and stabilize this tooth with a segment of rigid wire. Now let's begin the partial retraction of the posterior teeth. We will bond brackets on the premolars and lingual buttons on the molar and first premolar. With Elastic chains placed buccally and lingually, we achieve simultaneous retraction of both premolars. At the completion of posterior retraction, we stabilize this segment with a rigid wire. We can now remove the lingual buttons and proceed with the extraction of the first premolar to initiate anterior retraction. For this movement, I suggest a statically determinated mechanics, meaning without continuous wires or loops. To achieve this, we simply create a rigid anterior segment with a hook on the distal of the canine, approximately 5 mm in height. Note that the hook should be slightly below the height of the mini screw. Consequently, we will install a spring or elastic chain to apply a force distally, but with an inclination to also produce an intrusive effect, which is desired in this case. Since the force line will pass below the center of resistance of the anterior teeth, there will be predominantly controlled tipping movement in this case. If necessary, you can also use a continuous arch to apply torques as needed. And finally, after removing the lower occlusal splint, we proceed with a space closure in the lower arch and perform the final intercuspation. I hope you have found these tips helpful. Best of luck to Dr. Elsid, and feel free to get in contact with me by email or by direct message and send your clinical pictures of your case for which you seek biomechanical advice.
See you later, my friends. Anime Biomechanics, always be with you.